Yo, Rick, my DJ laptop, it just keeps crashing, bro. I need to get a new one. What do you recommend? Bro, that's easy. Just get yourself a MacBook. Everyone uses MacBooks, 13 or 15 inch. Just take your pick. Just get yourself a MacBook, man. Oh, of course. Yeah, that makes so much, that makes so much sense, man. Thanks. $1,300 and that's only 256 gigabytes? How much is, how much is 512? 1500! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit, but MacBook Pros, why do most DJs use them? Do you really need a MacBook Pro to be a DJ or can you buy a Windows computer? And if you do buy a Windows computer, what sort of things are you looking for in terms of specs and performance that will make it a good computer to be a DJ? Well, I'm gonna answer all of that in today's video, so stay tuned. Before we jump into Windows versus Mac and all the computer craziness of this video, I do have to remind you, as you guys just saw, the DJ Life clothing drop. This one right here is one of my personal favorite. Good vibes only. Well, the whole entire drop is my personal favorite. July 15th, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It goes live. It's going to sell quick. So be ready. July 15th, shopdjlife.com. See you there. Yo, we also have the DJ Life face mask on the website as well. They have these super stretchy sides on them. Really high quality, to be honest. These are like really awesome. They're super breathable because they're only two layers. I wear one every single day. They're also on the website as well. First off, I do want to talk a little bit about the MacBook Pro. Most DJs recommend and use MacBook Pros because just flat out, they work. They just work. I personally am a Windows guy. I mean, I have a Windows computer right here. I have a Windows desktop computer laptop set up behind me. I'm a Windows guy, but I cannot deny the fact that MacBooks just work. They work reliably and they work efficiently as DJ computers and computers in general. And the main reason for that is MacBook Pros, even the baseline, baseline MacBook Pro are specced out pretty significantly as a really solid computer. And while I'm on the subject of specs, let's look up what the actual spec requirements are for say a DJ program. So we're DJs, we're looking for a DJ computer. What are the requirements to run the actual DJ programs that we need to use at our events? By far, most of us are probably using Serato, if not Virtual DJ. Serato actually has higher requirements than Virtual DJs. So let's look at what the spec requirements are for Serato. So on Serato's website, we can actually view the system requirements that they have to be able to run the Serato DJ Pro program. First off, Serato DJ Pro works on both Mac and Windows. Right now, Catalina is the highest version of Mac that it will operate on, as well as Windows 10. It only works on 64-bit operating systems, which both Windows 10 and the newest version of Mac OS is 64-bit, so you don't really have much issues there. The real things that we need to be considering are our processors, our memory, and our screen resolution. So, Processor wise, they recommend Intel only. That's a pretty good recommendation. Um, i3s, i5s, i7s, and i9s of 1.07 gigahertz or higher. That's actually a pretty low requirement. Screen resolution is 1280 by 720 or 720p. Really low there. Four gigabytes of memory. This is not your storage. Storage is down here where they say free HDD space. That is hard drive space. That's five gigabytes, they need five gigabytes for the program. Four gigabytes of memory. Memory is like what your computer uses to run, to actually run programs. That's what memory is, it's, it's different than storage. And that's pretty much it in terms of the spec requirements for your computer to be able to run 
Serato DJ Pro. Now the system requirements for Serato DJ Pro are actually relatively low when it comes to computer performance. That's very low in terms of what they're asking for your computer to be able to do. So why do most DJs use MacBook Pros or really spec'd out Windows computers and not just basic computers because that's all you really need is those really low system requirements. And the reason for that is your computer needs to have enough performance to actually run the computer and everything else besides just the DJ program. I mean, a lot of us when we're DJing also have a browser window pulled up. We maybe have iTunes running in the background. We have more than just the Serato DJ program up and on top of that, the computer itself has a lot of background processes and stuff that it's running all the time that the computer needs to be able to keep up with. So you need a really high performance to be able to cover everything that it's running with no issues. So with that said, I have come up with a guide for you guys in terms of the performance specs that you need to be looking for on either a MacBook Pro or a Windows computer to be able to DJ efficiently. Let's start off with the biggest factor to consider when getting a laptop, and that is how big is it gonna be? So size-wise, what I've found out in the DJ industry is that it's mostly split 50-50 between the 13-inch laptops and the 15-inch laptops, or if you get the new MacBooks, it's now a 16-inch. So DJs are kind of split. Some people like the 13-inch route, some people like the 15-inch route. I personally like the 15-inch route, that is the size laptop that I have, but I also have a daily 13-inch laptop. And the decision between a 13-inch and a 15-inch is just gonna come down to your personal opinion. 13 is a lot more portable, that's why it's my daily laptop. 15 inch is a little bigger, um, but I like the 15 inch because I like being able to see a lot more of my song list when I'm looking over at the screen. I can scroll through a lot more songs and see a lot more songs at once when I'm at a wedding trying to dig through my crates. But either 13 or 15 or 16 inch laptops, screen resolution wise, I would be looking for at least 1920 by 1080 or 1080p HD resolution. I personally have a 4K resolution screen on my DJ laptop, complete overkill, but at least a 1080p will do you just fine. All right, processors, the main thing that's either gonna make your computer amazing or suck. I personally would stay away from all the processors uh, that are not Intel. So AMD, I wouldn't go with any AMD processors. Uh, I would stick to Intel processors, similar to what Serato recommended, I would stick with Intel processors. And in terms of Intel processors, I would look for either a i7 or an i9 processor. And in particular, you're gonna look for either quad core processors, so quad core i7s or i9s with 2.5 gigahertz or higher, or octa cores with 1.8 gigahertz or higher. For anyone that doesn't understand what I just said right there, basically processors have a certain amount of cores to them. So you can get a single core processor, a dual core, a quad core, an octa core, or there might be some new crazy ones that have 16 cores from what I've been hearing. But the second part of what I said, the 2.5 or 1.8 gigahertz or higher, that is basically the speed per core. So that's why a quad core, four cores at 2.8 gigahertz is quite fast, but with eight cores, you only need 1.8 gigahertz or higher because you have more cores, more speed. I hope that makes sense. But I wouldn't worry too much about all those nitty gritty details that I just told you, the quad core, the octa core, the 2.5. Basically any i7 or i9 processor for the most part that you buy is gonna be spec'd perfectly fine for your application. For reference, I'm rocking an Intel i7 octa-core in this computer right here with 1.99 gigahertz of speed. So this thing is spec'd out perfectly fine. Next on my computer guideline is memory. I mentioned this earlier, but this is not the storage of your computer. This is not where you're putting your files. That is not what memory is. Memory, to just keep it simple, is what your computer actually uses to be able to run. So with that said, my recommendation or my guideline would be to look for eight gigabytes or higher of memory. I personally have 16 gigabytes of memory on this computer right here. Now, moving on from memory, we're gonna go to storage, which is where you actually store your files. So in terms of storage, at this point, I would never buy another computer that has an HDD drive. I would stick to SSD. For anyone that doesn't know the difference between HDD and SSD, HDD is basically a disk. So inside of your computer, there is a disk that spins 
and it records all of the data for your storage, which can be susceptible to basically getting messed up because it's a spinny disk. If your laptop moves in the wrong way, it messes the disk up and basically your computer's screwed. It's not that sensitive necessarily, but the other side of it, SSD, solid state drives, these are basically like flash drives. That's what everything in terms of storage is going to. That's what your SD cards are. That's what your flash drives are. SSD storage is the premium storage option nowadays. That's why it costs a lot more than HDD drives. So again, my guideline is to get a computer with an SSD storage drive in it, and I would be looking for at least 512 gigabytes of storage. Preferably, I would go with a terabyte, but you can get away with 512 gigabytes of storage. Again, I have a terabyte on my laptop. That is way more than enough to store all of my music. I think my music library takes up about 300 gigabytes of storage on this computer, which is why 512 gigabytes should be plenty for your application as well. Most laptops come with Intel's built-in graphics, which is part of the i7 or the i9 processor. And for basically 90% of us DJs, that is 100% fine for our usage. As a DJ laptop, the built-in graphics with the i7 or the i9 processor through Intel will work perfectly fine for your computer. But a bonus or a bonus factor would be to have a dedicated graphics card within your computer. So going back to the computer that I use, there is a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce graphics card inside of my computer, which a caveat to why this computer has it is because it has a 4K resolution screen. That dedicated graphics card takes a lot of the stress off of my processor to be able to display everything in that amazing 4K screen. So if you do get a laptop with a really high resolution, a graphics card will help significantly in optimizing your performance. The last thing on my computer buying guidelines, and this is something that is somewhat overlooked by a lot of DJs, especially when you're looking for a Windows computer. Not really a problem with Macs because they already have this, but backlit keyboard. This should be self-explanatory. We're DJs, we DJ in very dark environments, and having a backlit keyboard is a necessity. This, this is a necessity. You need a backlit keyboard. Again, Macs come with them already, so if you're looking for a Mac, don't worry about it. But if you're looking for a Windows computer, make sure it has a backlit keyboard. It's really important. So that is my computer buying guideline. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Ricky, just tell me what computer I need to buy. So let's go through some of the computers that I recommend. And let's start off with the DJ laptop that I'm using here. I basically made a whole entire video on this specific laptop because I actually bought this one custom. So I had this custom built. Um, I built it on the HP website so that I made sure it had literally the maximum specs of like everything possible that I already listed. But nowadays they have a newer model. So this is just a one model old, kind of like the MacBooks. Um, they have a newer model now that literally has pretty much the exact same specs. So on bestbuy.com you can view um, the HP Spectra X360s. So this is a 360 laptop, it goes 360. So if you're a college student or you're in school, it's great because it's 360, it's got a touch screen. Um, there's just some benefits that you will get with a Windows computer over a Apple computer. Um, because as far as I know, I've never seen a MacBook computer flip all the way around and turn into a tablet and have a touch screen yet. Enough rambling, the computer that we're looking at right here this is an HP Spectra X360, the exact same laptop that I have. It has a 4K to screen, the exact same screen that I'm rocking on here. We have a Core i7, an Intel Core i7. This is actually a newer processor. This is the 10th gen. I have the 8th gen in my computer because it's a couple years older. Um, there was no 10th gen back then. 16 gigabytes of RAM, exact port I'm rocking here. 512 gigabytes of storage. I actually have a terabyte in here. So we'll look at what that is. And graphics card wise, it does also have the NVIDIA GeForce graphics built into it. So that is an awesome advantage. So you're looking at $1,600 basically for what I recommend for a DJ computer if you're getting the 15 inch. Uh, the 13 inches will be cheaper necessarily, but $1,600 for a Windows 10 HP computer that will be spec'd out to 100% handle all of your DJ needs. Again, I go with a terabyte, so if we upgrade to a terabyte of storage, the laptop jumps from being $1,600 to basically $2,000. 
And for anyone wondering, when I bought this computer right here, it was actually $2,200 spec'd out from HP two years ago. Main reason for that is because SSD drives, the solid state drives, are getting cheaper and cheaper year after year. So back when I bought a terabyte SSD, it cost quite a bit more than what it does now. So if you're looking for a Windows computers, those are two that I recommend. I will link them down in the description down below, as well as the complete guideline for buying the recommendations that I have in terms of the specs that you need to be looking for. Um, for anyone concerned though, let's look at what a comparable MacBook Pro would cost you as well. So on the MacBook side, if we look at the 16 inch ones right here, if we look at their performance specs, you will see that they basically are 100% up to the specs that I listed on my guidelines, which is common with all MacBook Pros. They're normally all spec'd out 100% out the gate ready to go to be an amazing, awesome, DJ reliable machine, basically. So the baseline 16 inch comes with a 2.6 gigahertz, six core, ninth gen i7 processor, or the upgraded model comes with a 2.3 gigahertz, eight core uh, i9 processor, uh, definitely up there in terms of performance. Both of them have dedicated graphics cards with the AMD Radeon Pro, with four gigabytes of dedicated graphics memory. Those are absolute badass graphics cards. Now these are not necessarily apples to apples comparisons when it comes to the HP Spectre here versus the MacBook Pro 16 inch. There definitely is some performance advantages when it comes to the MacBook side, but this is the lowest end 16 inch one that you can get. So it's the closest comparison that we get. Both of them 16 gigabytes of memory, 512 gigabytes of storage on the baseline, one terabyte on the upgraded model. And both of them come with a 16 inch retina display, which is absolutely um, just kick ass amazing. Touch bars, back of the keyboard, all that fun stuff. So price wise there, you can see there's quite a huge difference when it comes to the HP Spectra X360 and the Apple computer. Again, the Apple computer does win when it comes to performance. There are some advantages, but Talking about DJ computers and what you necessarily need, um, this computer can 100% do the job, the MacBook can 100% do the job. Both of them are great options, but you do pay a little bit more into the price of the Apple MacBook. But with all of that covered now, the guideline, what I recommend in terms of the computer specs that you are gonna be looking for in terms of a DJ computer, the Windows computers that I personally recommend, like the HP Spectra, X360 right here, or the Apple MacBook Pros. What do I basically tell people when they contact me and they're like, hey Rick, I need to buy a DJ laptop? Well, I basically answer their question with a question. And that question is, do you already use a Windows computer? How long have you been using it? Or do you already use a MacBook? If they are already using a MacBook, I tell them to stay with MacBooks. Just buy the latest and greatest MacBook, either the 16 inch or the 13 inch, and you will be perfectly fine to do all of your DJ needs. If they are using a Windows computer already and they've been using a Windows computer for a long time, I give them like a two part answer to that. So I tell them they can basically stick with the Windows computers and get something like the HP Spectre right here. It'll be 100% perfectly fine for all of their DJ needs. But I like to follow up and ask them, if they have an iPhone. Do they have an iPhone for their daily smartphone that they use every single day? Have you been using an iPhone for a long time? And if they do have an iPhone and they've been using iPhones for a long time, I give them like an option basically. You could stick with Windows, you'll be perfectly comfortable, or you can make the jump and go over and get yourself a MacBook if you're comfortable with paying the price tag. And the reason why I tie the iPhone into the MacBook Pro is just the whole Apple ecosystem. If they already have an iPhone, they're used to their iPhone, and they get a MacBook Pro, well, they're gonna get more into the Apple ecosystem. Their laptop's gonna work seamlessly with their phone back and forth, and it just makes a good marriage in terms of the two products that they're gonna be using throughout their life. So what about the third case? They're brand new and they've never had a computer before. What do I tell them? I tell them to get a MacBook. I tell any beginner DJ that is looking to get a laptop to buy a MacBook. And the reason for that is going back to the original thing that I said at the very beginning of this video. Macs just work. A MacBook Pro, even the baseline MacBook Pro, is spec'd out significantly for what you will need as a DJ laptop. 
and it just works. Remember when I was talking about performance specs and how Apple computers for the most part are specced out significantly for what you will need in terms of a DJ computer, especially in terms of the guideline that I just gave you? Windows computers, on the other hand, there are a buttload of them that fall below the performance recommendations that I just gave you. Therefore, a good majority of the Windows computers that exist out there and that people are using are underqualified in terms of the performance guidelines that I gave you in this video and therefore why Windows computers end up getting a bad rap when they crash at your gigs because you bought a piece of crap really, 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 really cheap Windows computer that just was not optimized to be the badass performance computer that it needs to be to be a solid, reliable DJ laptop. Again, I spent $2,200 on this laptop right here because I can't sacrifice my laptop crashing at an event. And I'm already in the Windows ecosystem. I've been in it forever. So I went with a Windows computer, but I went with an extremely specked out badass Windows computer. And with that said, that is going to wrap up my video on what computer you should be looking for if you are in the market for a new DJ computer. Again, my full guideline will be listed in the description down below, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. It's at DJ Rick Webb. Give me a follow over there if you're not already doing so already. And leave down the comment section down below what you guys thought of my recommendations and my video. Do you guys agree with me? Are you guys on the Apple MacBook Pro fanboy wagon? Do you like Windows computers? Do you hate everything about this video? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Let's have a little discussion. Let's have a civil debate on what computer is the better computer. Don't forget to slap a like on this video and hit the subscribe button to see all the new awesome videos. Also turn on that bell so that way you get notified when the new videos do come out. DJ Life Clothing drop is July 15th. Reminder as always, DJ Life Clothing shop DJLife.com is the website linked in the description down below as well. As always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning and I will see you guys next time. Peace.